two people come in. Um, one would keep the salesman busy, and it was a, I think it was a mom and a son. Mm. And the other, the, the woman would um, be looking at the saws. They, they would steal um, chainsaws. Um, would um, somehow get them under her skirt and carry them out the door. And she got one from both stores. And they had several um, stores that they went to in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Illinois. And um, they, got, they got caught eventually. On a daily basis, just a walk around. Um, we do have a fence, gated, gated areas. But we do have some stuff out right by the road here. Um, so a daily check. Um, we did put in our surveillance system at both stores within the last couple of years. So we can go back um, and look if something, if I see something missing or, you know, um, if something's moved or you can, or you've got footprints around in the snow or something, you can, you can tell and go back and see what happened there. So that's stuff we've done. Talking about the stuff that's setting out that you can't tie down good enough or disable good enough is to have some type of GPS sensors on each piece of equipment that's setting out there. So you can, if it does get stolen, you can track it. Because um, there's no way of doing that right now with what's out there. And if something is stolen, it's pretty much gone. You, you'll never see it again.